It's in heart. Why are you not punching him? Eh? This is not what we what we, we ask. This is not what we ask. For God's sake, this opponent is not strong. That is where God will punish you. That is the exact part. The other things that you say is not a problem. But that is where God will punish you. Why you say this opponent is not hard? Why you are telling me for this fight? No wonder he did not show me his picture. I was saying, who did I want to go my fight? He did not show me his picture. He did not show me his video. Look at this, this, this beast that you came me to go my fight. He's two times taller than me. Seven times smarter than me. Three times bigger than me. You did not get me. You did not get me, coach. Go with it. You have energy. You have energy. You have energy. energy. I switch to, I switch to the ghost of my village. Go with penny shoe and the energy. Because now look at the first punch that this man punched me. My hand cannot me. But here, tiny artist here. Why you know what thing? What I guess you upon your one? I don't like something that I cannot do. I don't put it in my mouth. If you have shown me this man, where the people, where the people, where the people are there again, I will not come and fight. I'm not. <laughs> Hi, tribe of men. <clears throat> Welcome to Black News and Media. Here with me, Comrade Vini Benema, you can call me DJ for the public enemy who hates no one. And this is the 33 Men's Voice Podcast, where we learn about male and female dynamics. And today, we are serious. We are going to learn about a serious thing about relationship, especially marriage. Because these days, there's this <clears throat> information or message going on from men around the world. And what troubles me most is my own Ghanaian and African men saying that marriage is a scam or marriage has become a scam. I am of the opinion that if a man from the U.S., for instance, tells me marriage is a scam, I will not argue with him. Because the legal document, the laws about marriage in the U.S. is so useless, it's so nonsensical, it doesn't have any common sense common sense background it's all made up of emotions and laws that were lobbied by feminist think tanks so if an american man tells me that marriage has come i will agree but if a Ghanaian man and most african men tell me that marriage has come i totally disagree okay even though both the americans and the Ghanaians some of some of the people it is a lack of information about marriage before we go into it that makes it but the americans the westerners western men i agree with them that marriage has become a scam okay now you saw this man crying and angry okay let me project him about how he was not told about the opponent in the fight Okay, so today we are going to learn from this comedian. And this com comedian is using boxing to tell us how boxers behave after one round. Boxers from different countries, okay? Boxers from different countries around the world, how they behave after one round. And we are going to um, learn from the Ghanaian boxer because that's the language majority of us understand. But to make it the learning lively, sometimes when we are learning and it's all seriousness, sometimes people get bored. So we are going to go all over for the beginning of the video. Listen to watch how the Chinese boxer behave after one round, how the Beninois boxer behave after one round, how the France boxer behave after one round. And then we pause and then listen attentively with how the Ghanaian boxer behaves at one round. It is the Ghanaian boxer behavior that depicts the nature of men in relationship and marriage today that we only begin to learn about our opponents, the women, and the laws surrounding marriage and the traditions after we have become husbands, which is totally wrong. You don't have to learn about marriage after marriage. Why don't you become a, a, a medical doctor without going to the medical school? But we go to the medical school before you become a medical doctor. But when it comes to marriage, many of us, we don't even read the laws about marriage before we get married. Majority of the people in the U.S., majority of people in Ghana, 
So we'll watch the video from the beginning and then when we get to the Ghanaian, I'll pause and then we'll, we'll listen attentively and then we, 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 we do our discussions. So let's start with um, all the way from the beginning. The American boxer, how they behave after one round. And the one round can mean your first divorce as a man. So let's watch. This guy is good. Yes, he is good. Not stupid, but better. Mrs. Dossos, did you just the amount of days for the back of the day? The French boxer. Because one one, me don't understand the part of ranking style he's using, man. You are a part of ranking, bitch, yeah? But the ranking can beat, man. Jamaican boxer. You have to see me, the camera, look at me high already, man. Can I fight this mission? Indian boxer. boxer. The guy never expected what he, he he experienced in the one round. That is you. When you thought that marriage is all smooth and rosy, and then you went into it, and then after you went to court and all of that, the divorce and the breakup, the, the, the heartbreak, now you are angry. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Living legends, we are in. Brothers, this is where we have to pay attention. Do all the laughing, but please, in my comment section, reduce the laughing emoji. Let me let me know what you learned, what you learned from this video. Because it is so packed with information. Not necessarily what the boxer, the, the, the comedian are saying, but what I'm going to, the information I'm going to give you after um, the boxer's uh, display. I'm going to take you into Ghana's uh, marital laws. Most important, property sharing. And you see, you see that at least in Ghana, the laws about marriage, divorce, and property sharing are just commonsensical. And it's not gender-based. It's based on meritocracy. you love it. So let's listen to the Ghanaian boxer. After going round one and realizing that he was not told who the opponent was. You were not told what marriage was about. You were not told you did not learn about female nature before you started bringing women into your life. Let's continue. We see when you know fighting hard. Why you not punching him? This is not what we what we we ask. This is not what we ask. For God's sake, this opponent is not strong. That is where God will punish you. That is the exact part. The other things that I say is not a problem. But that is where God will punish you. <laughs> when you say this opponent is not when you are killing me for this fight, no wonder he did not show me his picture. I was saying, who did I want to come and fight? He did not show me his picture. He did not show me his video. Look at this 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 beast that you came me to come and fight. He's two times taller than me. I will not come and fight. How much? How much? Trust is trust is whatever you do with 
your titties. Then you want to kill me. So we lose the money. So we lose the money. You will lose your life with the money. Look at the angle of the people sighting me. The punching of the people sighting me. Look at that man's hand. He's very big. He has tiny asses. He has skin. God will punish you. God will punish the organizers of this boxing match. God will punish that man first. That man, God will punish you first. Because he, look at him, blow me, blow me my throat. He blow me my throat. He throat. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> God will punish the coach. <laughs> God will punish the organizers of this uh, match. <laughs> what does it represent? I want you to, at this point, I want you to write. God will punish you and God will punish the organizers of this match. Tell me what it represents in marriage, in relationship. Okay? Many of us went into relationship. Not even marriage. With utopian, utopian ideas. Fairy tales. If your girlfriend cheat and you accept her back, it means that you are Mr. Lover. It means that you are tolerant. It means that you are a secured man. If you are looking for a woman and you, you, she, 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 she's not giving you chance, keep chasing. You watch all of these things in Hollywood movies. You watch it in Nigeria movies. You watch it in Ghana movies. You read it in the, the romantic novels. And as a young man, teenager, early in your 20s, some in our 30s, we used this idea of relationship and marriage and went into it. As for the laws surrounding marriage, the crack, 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 crack. We don't even read. And then we go into it and we realize that all of the things that they told us to do so that women will understand us, women will love us, Women will stay with us. Women will not cheat on us. All of it was bogus. So we are like this boxer. Who said that the trainer did not show him the, 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 the opponent's picture? The trainer, he asked of the <laughs> opponent's video. The trainer did not show him. We are going to go, we are going to listen to him again. And it will make more sense to you. Just oppose this into your relationship life in, in marriage. Huh? So that's why the boxer is saying that God will punish his uh, trainer and God will punish the organizers of the fight. Because this is too much over him. He was not told. And most of us, we, we, we grew under father's who themselves were victims of feminism, didn't know that much. They just seemed to save their relationships. Okay? And now we are in an era where social media is making women share notes. Just like we are here sharing notes in how to fortify ourselves, get initiated as men. And mostly, when women are sharing notes, they don't share notes on good practices. They share notes on evil things, how to destroy men. So, bro, the institution of marriage itself, especially in Ghana and Africa, is not a scam. It is our lack of learning, lack of planning, lack of knowledge, lack of self-search that we needed to have done before we go into relationship, before we get married, that has brought us here. In America, where they have something like no fault divorce, we don't have that in Ghana. Hmm? In Ghana, even when it comes to child support, the first the, the first step of determining how much a man should pay to a woman or a woman should pay to a man for child support is reserved to the family. The court allowed the family to do it themselves. 
if the person receiving the child support is not okay, that's when the court comes in, in Ghana. And we don't, we don't learn all of these things. Okay? And then we go into it like this boxer. After one round, that is after your woman threatened to leave you or take you to uh, decide to divorce you. And especially if you did the traditional, um, you did the ordinance wedding or marriage, that is where people get to realize, oh, this is what the law says. This is what the law says. Okay? But if you read the marital laws in Ghana, at least before you get married, you 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 be initiated. You know things. You know what to do, what not to do. And at least the laws in Ghana, as far as marriage is concerned, doesn't rob the man. It protects you. But. Even with all of this, a lot of us make big, 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 big mistakes. That this law that is so meritocrat meritocratic in nature get to bite some of us. So I would say marriage is not a scam, especially in Ghana and most part of Africa. It is the training that we went through and many of us did not get, get a hint to educate ourselves. To learn about ourselves, to know ourselves, to know which woman to go for, and what which woman not to go for, to build ourselves, to kill something in our life, to move from weak men to strong masculine men mentally, before we go into normal relationship, not to even talk of marriage. These are the things we didn't do. Yes, if if you if you if you train yourself, if you if you remove, if you if you train yourself to stop being a weak man, to stop simping, to get uh, away with um, uh, um, scarcity mindset, okay, and and embrace delay gratification, all of these things as a man. Yes, divorce can come, breakup can come, but it will not affect you. To the point where you see marriage as a scam. If you build yourself well as a man before you go into relationship and marriage, huh? anytime a woman who did not deserve you get out of your life, you count it a blessing. But where all your idea about relationship and marriage is based on Nigeria movie. Hollywood romantic movies. That is where when you receive your first round in any relationship, especially marriage, you say it says come. Okay? Now, let's go and listen to Ghana's um, law. Okay? Specifically on property sharing. Hmm? Property sharing. Let me um, try to zoom it so that you can read it yourself on the screen. Okay? Yes, I'll be... Um, panning it for you. So let me um, make it larger. Okay, this is Ghana's law on property sharing. Let me get this off the, okay. The law on divorce in Ghana considered property acquired during the pending marriage as joint property of the couple. In other words, in Ghana, the only property that a woman who is seeking for divorce has a share in it is the property that was acquired during the marriage. 
the marriage that they want to dissolve now. That is the only property the court consider as a joint property where the woman will have a share. Let's continue. In the past, the property were split into two equal share for the purpose for the couple okay in the past once a property is acquired during the marriage meaning in ghana if a woman is seeking for divorce any property that a man made before you join the man you don't have a share in it okay the only property you have is the property the man made while you were married to him. And in the past, once you uh, the man acquired any property during the marriage and you want a divorce, then it can be divided into two equal parts and you have uh, a share. But Ghana has amended our laws. Now, what does the law say in how to share it? It says, this was based on the nature of the traditional nuclear family and gender roles. The husband earned income used to acquire the property. The wife also cooked, washed, and took care of the home and children. The, the law considered this to be the wife's valuable contribution to success of the man and the family the law would give the, the the wife equal joint ownership equal joint ownership of the marital properties after the marriage is dissolved however nowadays equal joint ownership is no longer automatic so even now in ghana equal equal joint ownership is not automatic okay A spouse claiming joint ownership must prove their contribution. Okay? It is assumed that in most homes, the couple are both employed and have and have hired maid, cooks, cleaners, and nannies to take care of the household duties. Therefore, the one claiming joint ownership must prove their contribution. Towards the property, they will only be entitled to reasonable share of the property commensurate with their actual contribution. Okay? What does this mean? What this means is that in Ghana, before um, a woman seeking divorce can uh, get a share in the property, a lot of factors goes into it. For example, if you are uh, a woman who is working and the man is working, then you are making your own money as well. So you don't become a career woman and then when you are seeking for divorce, you, you don't become a career woman and then you seek for divorce and ask for 50-50 with a man. No. The court will not let you uh, be a career woman and then where uh, it is nannies and cooks who are taking care of the house to get away with 50%. The court will let you bring evidence of how you contributed. But if you are a housewife who is taking care of the house and all of that, then 50-50 can be automatic for you. All of this, we don't. So I think I will do a series if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section. I'll do a whole series 
uh, taking you through all the marital laws in Ghana. So this is the legal side, a, just a bit of the legal side that a guy who wants to get married in Ghana needs to know before you get married. Okay? You need to know before you get married. And then all the other games that we are learning on this channel, you have to put all of them into, 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 into consideration as a man. Don't get surprised. Know yourself. Know female nature. Yes, female nature sometimes is, 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 is not nice if you get to know. It will shock you. But <laughs> you don't have to end there. There are good women out there. There are bad men out there. You can only identify the bad woman when you yourself, you know yourself. You know who you are. And then know their tricks, know their game. And now, don't let a woman who is facing the wall put pressure on you to marry them. The moment, you know, they want to change you to become bad guys, sack them. Hmm? So many of us in normal relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, we were just like the boxer. We were taken by surprise. We were shocked. We were not told. Our parents didn't help and we ourselves didn't take it upon ourselves. Now we need to go take, take it upon ourselves because some of our parents still were thinking that marriage is just like the way it used to be in the past. It has changed, especially in the advent of social media, it has changed. And today, many of us are behaving like this boxer who got a shock of his life. Guys, I think I will do a part two of this video, especially on the loss uh, in marriage in Ghana. So on that note, marriage itself is not a scam. It has become a scam in the West. And if we men do not learn and then put ourselves well, then maybe it can become a scam here in Africa. But until then, let's learn about ourselves. Let's learn female nature. Let's learn the laws. And then let's know that we as men go into marriage with too much value. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't allow any person who come with less value to come and take your value. Thank you for staying with us. And don't forget to subscribe. And you have any information, email us at blacknificentmedia at gmail.com. Thank you very much.